Hey guys, uh, Brian coming back with another uh, Hank Greenberg collection video. Um, this is now day two. Day one I posted yesterday. The link will be in the description below. Um, along with a link to my blog on Blogger, which I occasionally write about my Greenberg collection, anything I pick up, or um, any trends in the set, or just some some things that you know I think about or whatever. Um, so I have five cards to show you guys today, um, and let's get into it. So first being uh, a quad back card from 2002 Upper Deck Vintage with Greenberg, Willie McCovey, Frank Thomas, and Eddie Murray, uh, four Hall of Fame first baseman. Um, just a clean card, uh, great quad bat piece. Um, these can be had for pretty cheap. They're kind of all over eBay, but I just think they're they're awesome cards, and I really like this one a lot. Just love the simple design of it. Uh, staying with the bat card theme, this is from 2006 Top Triple Threads. Uh, I think this was the first time they came out Triple Threads. Um, this is the... Uh, at the time, they did um, the highest numbering was to 18. So this is numbered to 18. Um, so uh, yeah, and there are two different variations with this one. There is the Hall of Fame, and then there is the DET for Detroit, uh, which I believe our buddy Michael has. Um, this is a really sweet card. They don't really show up on eBay much anymore, or even in the past few years. Um, so. Was lucky to grab this one when I did, because uh, it's definitely one of my favorite uh, back cards that I have of him. Uh, this next one's one little is one little different. It might look um, simple to you guys at first, but I'll tell you a little bit more about this one. This is a 2010 Topps National Chickle um, cowhide card, and I don't know if you guys know about these cowhide cards, but they're one of ones. You can see. A one of one stamp on the back there. This was actually a uh, gift from a member at F uh, Freedom Cardboard. He, uh, I bought the bat card from him, the uh, the base bat card, when this product came out back in I guess 2010 or 2011. Uh, I bought it, and along with the bat card, he sent me this for free. Um, I guess I, it was like either in his box or he opened a case and got it, um, but completely blew me away. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to receive a few different gifts uh, from different members on Freedom Cardboard and such um, throughout my collecting career. So this happens to be one of my one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's just really sweet looking. Uh, the only reason really they call it a cowhide. I don't know if you can really tell in the video, um, but there are little dimp like dimples on the surface of the card to make it. I don't know. Feel something different. Um, don't really understand the variation much with this one. Um, nonetheless, sweet card, and uh, happy it's a one one happy I have it. Um, and then to follow up from yesterday, I showed you guys um, the 1939 play ball with the back variation um, of both upper and lower case. Um, so I brought my two other play ball variations to show you guys today from the back. This first one, is the sample. Now this sample card, if you're not familiar with it, was given away as, as a promotion for the set. Um, and because of their promotional nature, a lot of them are miscut um, or short on either side. So as you see, the side of the grade is one authentic. These are tough to get in anything besides authentic because of that nature. Uh, if you see the back, you see the name is all uppercase. And the stamp, I'll read the stamp to you. Free sample card, get your pictures of leading baseball players, three picture cards packed in each package of Playball America Bubblegum at your candy store for a cent. Uh, so imagine, you know, getting your gum pack for a penny, getting a few Hall of Fame baseball cards along with it. Um, this one's pretty rare. Uh, I'll give you another look at the sample back. Um, pretty rare, and they don't come up on eBay all too often. Um... So I was lucky to grab this one. I did. There's actually one on eBay now. Um, buy now, I believe, is 120. Um, 
the video doesn't really do the, the stamp justice. Uh, it's not by any means bold, um, but it's not, you know, fading or faint. Um, so this one is one that is on the rarer side, and I, I like it a lot. Uh, last car I'll show you today is the um, all back, uh, sorry, all block letter or all uppercase letter variation on the back, and then the front. <laughs> Got a nice little autograph there. Um, so again, uh, Greenberg's tendency to sign red ink, uh, as you can, if you remember, I showed you the video yesterday of um, the booklet card had a, a red signature as well. So, um, and I have a few other sign signatures that you'll see sometime later um, when I decide to show them to you guys, um, also in red ink. So. Really sweet card here. Able to get it for a really great price uh, when I did. So, very happy to have this one. It's one of two autographed vintage cards that I have. Um, and yeah, I just think it's an awesome, awesome, awesome card. And uh, yeah, good one. So, one more look at it quickly. And that's it. So, um, stay tuned for another one tomorrow.